Happy Monday, everyone. Hope all is well and that you had a great weekend. I know I had a very busy weekend and I'm so happy to have great friends to spend time with. But today's Monday, a new day, a new week starts. And I just want to share with you some of the stuff that people ask me, what do I do? You don't want to be the best kept secret if you want to start your own business. When I left corporate America to go out and speak, I tell you, I was terrified. I was leaving the comfort of the corporate welfare check um, to pursue helping others, to pursue living my purpose. And as I went along and speaking about living that diamond life, the life of purpose, people started asking me to help them out. And I kept saying no, because I really didn't want to be responsible for their thing. But as I stopped and thought about it, and others encouraged me to help others, I realized that living my purpose also means helping others live theirs. So what I started out to do was I created a corporation called Small Biz Evolution, and I tell people that I use it to for help startups and stuck-ups. So if you're starting a business, then great, I'll help you get going. Or if you're stuck in your business, then I, we come in and do an assessment and help you to move forward. But here's the thing I want you to know. It is a terrifying thing to pursue your dreams. It is you know, to take that leap of faith is a big step. And sometimes you can be scared, but push through it anyway, push past the fear. And it does become a rewarding thing. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. No, it's not. It takes a while to build up. But you can be successful by planning. First, you have to prepare a plan. Think about what it is that you want to do, what products and services you want to, you want to offer whether it's a book or whether it's a, a um, service like helping someone develop their plans and their purpose. But you have to think about it and think about what you need to do. Then you have to think about who would buy your products or services. Do your homework, find out things about that. And as you identify them, realize that not everybody's your target audience. Not everybody wants to hear your message. Not everybody wants your product or services. You have to think about the ones who do. Also, once you've done that, you want to then execute that plan. Go out there, find the right people who will help you. Surround yourself with people who are positive, who are for you. Get the right people on board to help you, like I have Adney and Christina and Katerina to help me out. And then you find the right clients to work with. Because not everybody is the right client for you. But I would tell you that it is a good thing. Uh, there are days when I go, why the heck did I do this? <laughs> But in the long run, when I see someone like one of my new clients who is a young chiropractor who is going out, he wants to teach the world about wellness and healthy way of developing and helping their bodies heal themselves. I am so excited by him because I give him homework. He came in, he did everything I told him to do. He found his location. He found what price he wants to charge, who he wants to target, and how he wants to start workshops to help others understand how to heal their bodies. Somebody like that gives me joy to work with because I know that they're committed to helping others. And that's who I look for. I look for people who want to help others. Their business or their products or their services is about helping. So you have to know what your core value is and what you want to leave behind. Well, how do you want to impact the world? I think if you work from that aspect as opposed to chasing just the money, then you're heading in the right direction. I hope this helps you out. Have a great day. Look forward to hearing from you.